Welcome to a game called Vision Superstar X. It's a spaceship game where you go around and shoot things. A bit like our type, I suppose. But uh, And then a cross between FTL as well, because it's you progress through the solar system as you go. You've been employed by a mad scientist who wants to show his nuclear weapon off to everybody, rather than blowing people up. And it's talking to them. You get to dress it up and stuff, if you find those kind of bases as you go. My dear bomb Celine will tour the solar system. She will land on every world from Pluto to Earth. At first I planned to atomize those, but this idea just sounds silly now. Putting a giant bomb on a stage is far more logical. Well, that's what she told me. The bomber's pilot is nearly ready. It's time to bring flesh to life. Right, this is, um, you get points to spend. But uh, you, can, you can put them anywhere. Armor gives more, like, uh, so they last a bit longer. Uh, skills, just exactly as, as it says. And aim lets you shoot your weapon a bit better. Because they don't have very good uh, aim and stuff, as you'll see in a minute. So we've got a pilot clone now. Alright, so when we first go in, you get to pick your uh, ship. You start off with, obviously, your pilot. And then you get to choose one of uh, any of these. So you've got a, a science thing. This one um, allows you to use a shield to stop some projectiles and also fires the bottom turret. You get an engineer which allows you to repair your ship at the end of uh, a given run. I'll go into that more once we uh, start shooting things. And also fires the rear turret. And you also get a medic who allows you to heal after each run and uh, also fires the front turret. Or you can forego any of these and take a better front weapon. But we're going to stick with the scientists so we can have a bit of shields. Prepare the solar system. What? People of the solar system, at last I have control of your TV set. Are you receiving me? Good, today we are launching the most glorious mission. A bomber from the planet X will be carrying a weapon of incredible power. Her name is Celine Fission. You will let her land on your worlds. And then she'll perform for your amusement and you will enjoy it. No, I am not insane and this is not radiation sickness speaking. So you had better enjoy her and have some concert stages ready. She's got a butt for a head. Or else she'll detonate. So after you've played a little bit, you unlock these bits. When I first started playing it, these weren't here, or maybe it was just because they hadn't implemented them yet. But the more you click, the harder it gets. Now I am absolutely dreadful at this game. Getting a little bit better, but I'm still dreadful. So we're just going to stick with normal difficulty. You've got your usual WAS and D, or the cursor keys to move your ship around. You've got buttons 1, 2, 3 and 4 which activates or deactivates your um, weapons but I just leave them all on anyway um, fire is your left mouse button and shield is your right mouse button so before we even get into this it it's changes every time you play it so you can't just learn the um, learn the maps and be done like you do in our type it's uh, completely random each time so when you blow one of these ships up you want to get as close to it as possible and try to avoid their um, the weapons see these little uh, yellow and uh, kind of grey things that's like money and other things right we've got one there see where its weapon is just underneath it we want to try and keep it away from that weapon they have different weapons ones shoot things the other ones are like uh, beam weapons which go through your shield so you can't uh, do that and avoid the uh, taking damage and you've got a little timer in this bottom left hand corner which uh, is the length of the run so we're nearly done now three quarters of the way right, I want to avoid that and I'm not exactly the best at gathering that stuff 
There we go, I've got some there. You open this top corner, it shows the, the damage of your ship. Ours is all fine, I, mustn't, uh, I didn't take any damage there, but it's in like quarters. So if you take damage in this bit here, this bit will go down. And when one bit blows up, that's it. At the end of each run, you get a choice of uh, either given a skill point, given an armor point, repairing your ship if you have an engineer, or healing your crew if you have a medic. As we've taken no damage or anything else, I think we're going to go for armor. And then once you've selected that, you get four choices. Excuse me. Four choices of where you want to go. Each with a time and uh, a progression. So you want to get all the way through here, right to the end. I think I've managed to get about there. Because, I, as I say, I'm, I'm pretty dreadful. We are going to go and recruit, so either one of these will be fine. And you get like a, 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 a buzzing club with some quality music. I uh, really like this music. <laughs> I love cheesy old uh, game music. When you come to recruit, they all have awesome names. And uh, they all have stats and stuff. So we, we could replace our pilot if we wanted to. But I kind of want to get both of these. I don't think we have enough for them. So I don't think we'll take much damage and I'd rather be able to hmm, do we want to heal do we want to do this uh, let's go for the medic let's see we can't just afford here <coughs> excuse me here you could uh, heal up as well if uh, you had the points for it but, uh, the money for it but we don't later on you get weapons that use up your ammo at the moment we've just got energy weapons so we, we don't have to worry about that You also get like uh, big things. Oh, crap. Now, this one here at the back has an energy weapon, so they both got energy weapons. Ooh, and that, that goes through your shield, so you can't really uh, do anything about that. You've got to just get out the way as fast as you can. Oh, crap. Yeah, as much as I'd love to get in and pick up some of this, which I managed to do, I want to keep away from them as well. Uh, we don't have anyone at the back, that's a shame. Oh, oh, we could have done with someone at the back. We need to keep him out of our way. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, we've taken a little bit of damage, I probably don't want to do that. I think we'll just uh, take skill points. And... We've got 612, I think we'll jump and get a recruit as well. Police are also chasing you, so if you've ever played a one called FTL, rather than being police, they're kind of the bad guys, or I can't remember what they're called in that, they chase you as well, so you can't just keep picking uh, move uh, one spot all the time, otherwise they'll catch you up. Uh, what? Okay, well... This one's dreadful, but we'll take it. And we might as well have a heal. And a heal there as well. And we can repair our ship if we manage to make it through this one. Okay, so that goes a bit better. We've got a big blue thing. I don't know what it is. You get the little dudes as well, who, although don't do much damage, are just like, get in the way. And annoying and really hard to hit. Oh, I could have done with that health, never mind. Uh, I think we're going to go up top. I don't know what these do, I don't know if you can kill them or not. If we keep away from that thing, that'd be great. Give me money. So I, I I really love this game. I would just wish I was a bit better at it. I might get there eventually, but uh, I am pretty dreadful. <laughs> I'll leave a, a link in the description for the um, the Steam page and a bit about the uh, 
creators of this game as well. I think it's going to be around about fifteen dollars, so probably about ten pound, twelve pound, some, somewhere around there. I think we'll uh, heal up there. I mean, boy, man, that was shit. Um, let's nip to the weapon shop. Let's see if we can afford anything. So here we've got uh, energy weapon. It does quite a lot of damage. Uh, now we could stick this on the back just to avoid some of that damage. We can only afford one, only just afford one. So let's grab it. So once you've bought it, you then click on whichever one you want it to go to. As we want it to go there, we'll put it there. So it shows it down here now. And you can also buy ammo if you've got any thing from Ammo Boy. But uh, we don't have any money. And we don't really use any, so... Oh, shit, I've bought the wrong gun. I thought that was a beam weapon. Alright, just shows how uh, sucky I am at this game. <laughs> Still low. That is uh, quite a nice weapon, I like that a lot. I'm glad I sucked and bought that. And didn't think about it. There's other ones, like uh, that energy weapon we saw before. There's plenty like that. And I usually like them, but they're very short range, so this one's awesome. And of course, no one comes anywhere near the back of the ship now. Come oh, on, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, come at your health, come at your health. Uh, personally, I would like this ship to be a little bit smaller, so we have a bit more room to move around and stuff, but that's just because I suck. So 400, uh, I think we'll repair the ship again. And right, the police are catching us up, so we need to jump to this one to get out of the way. Ah, oh, 410. So this one uses ammo. But it's 10.8 DPS with uh, shots per second of four. Whereas this one's two and a half shots a second with a little bit extra damage and it uses energy so I think we're just gonna keep what we've got so this one's kind of pulling our ship around a bit I don't have much control over it weird yeah that, that one had a big chainsaw that goes through all your shields and everything and does horrendous amounts of damage to your ship so it's best to try and avoid those all costs well, just about all costs yeah baby I like that gun glad I bought that one by mistake I wanted to get that man, but it's dragging me away. Oh crap. Yeah, see, they do horrendous amounts of damage, those those kind of cutter things. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Oh. The big chainsaw at the back. So we can keep it front, that would be awesome. I'd love to get that uh, healy thing because we're pretty bad. We're nearly done I suppose so. Mm. Come on man, let's get us out of here. So if your little dude dies then you don't get that to be able to fire the weapon where they are. Oh yeah. Oh, get up there. Yes. Nice repair. Woo. So we're gonna heal because <laughs> we suck. Well, I suck. Um, we could go for weapons again. 
and I think we will. So we can't afford that one. I'll read these properly this time. Uh, so this one's 18 damage per second. Shields are 20. Is that the same as that one then? Hmm. I think we'll grab that one in the front. And I think that's it. I'd love to be able to re give a bit of healing there, but uh, no such luck. Oh, yes. It's the first time I've got these. It's always been like the little energy weapons. Holy shit. Get away. Ooh. You've also got an energy bar here. So the more energy you use, the uh, that'll uh, work its way down, as you see. You get to upgrade your ship later on as well, like uh, reactors and stuff, when you go to the shipyard. Holy crap. Oh, baby. So it fills, up, it fills back up over time, but... But yeah, I love this game. I think it's awesome. It's very reminiscent of their uh, R-Type and uh, Project X. If you ever played that on the uh, Amiga, R-Type I just played on the yes, uh, on the good old Spectrum. Okay, we are uh, we're totally out of. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's try not to uh, blow my lord every time. But it is really good. Really enjoy this game a lot. Oh, I could do all that health. Nearly there, nearly there. Oh yeah, whoever shot that was just the best. Health. Okay, awesome. Right, um, I think we'll heal again. And maybe go to the shipyard. Yeah, definitely go to the shipyard. We definitely want a reactor. So that gives us extra shields and stuff. Obviously, armor does what it. Uh, not shields. Energy. Shields obviously do what they, they, they do, and engine. I don't know, maybe it makes us go faster. I can't uh, confirm that one. We'll repair and we'll go. Could have done with another heal, I suppose. But uh, we're getting there. It's a little bit like the cows one. If we've been in one of them yet, I don't think we have. I think that's the one I was playing before this. We just try and avoid the thing so you could uh, click on your shield just to uh, stop them hitting. I keep getting confused. These these rocks look like there is, but it's not. It's just these little ones. Boom. Uh, something got hit behind us. <laughs> And also the postman. So, wow, that one was nice. Um, don't need that. We can maybe go for... Let's go for armour. And we could also go for recruitment. Take a look. Or we could go to the weapon shop. Mm, we don't have much so let's have a look at the weapon shop instead so that is all the ones we've already got so yeah we don't need any let's uh, just leave that was a mistake oh right that's uh, they're going fast Eat it, man. Die, die, die. 
Uh oh. Need to keep away from the front of that ship. Okay, I don't know what's going. Oh yeah, baby. That looks like a big giant nipple on there. The back of there. Holy crap, this is making me nauseous. Oh crap. Yeah, take some positioning. I think you can use your, your shield to kind of like uh, knock them around a little bit, but it's not like uh, really useful. Okay, that's a new ship. Oh, baby. <sighs> give me that, give me that, give me that. Nice! Oh, get away from me. There's like a giant nipple gun. Right, we've, we've got a lot of damage. Really want this to be over quickly. Oh, I didn't want one of them. Oh, hell, we're out of, uh, out of energy. Phew. <laughs> That'll do it. Right, let's repair. And uh, I think we're going to jump in recruitment just so we can maybe heal up. Or get someone better. We could maybe get both actually. Ooh, but, but, uh, yeah, we just can't afford that one. Uh, let's grab, let's grab that one. And heal you. No, we can't, we've got no gold. Okay, no cash, no cash. Uh, wow, yeah, that's, that's done a lot of damage to the ship. Where did that damage come from? Oh, never mind. Get over there. We've taken a bit of damage there. I'll try and uh, as long as we keep away from that, that bloody saw thing, we should be all right. Right, we've got a bit of health. That's cool. I think it looked like we've got a bit of repair. As long as we keep you away with that saw. Oh man, could do with that health. Well, not really. We're fine. Get away with that saw, man. That's probably the best I've uh, done so far. I've got to the first planet before, but uh, died horribly. Oh, shoot. So we need to stay in front of this. And then pew, 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 pew. So I think we'll get the end of this one. I'm going to save it. If you'd like to see more, please leave uh, a like and drop a comment, maybe. They're going to be... I think this is released on the 21st of uh, May. As I say, I'll leave a, a link to the uh, Steam page. 
in the description below so you can go check it out but yeah I think it's really worth it if you like nostalgic uh, uh, bullet hell spaceship games this is uh, really really fun I really like it a lot okay so we will repair our ship and we will go to the shipyard and we'll save so I want to leave it there Again, just check in the description for a link to the uh, Fission X Super uh, no, Fission Superstar X Store Steam page. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.